Special right triangles. We're going to be learning about two types of special right triangles. One of them is the 45, 45, 90. The other one is the 30, 60, 90. So let's start with the 45, 45, 90. First off, as you look at the 45, 45, 90, it is an isosceles triangle. We should know that because we have the two right angles. We have the two, or the two 45 degree angles in the corner of the triangle, which makes it isosceles. If you remember back from a previous section on isosceles triangles, we know that when the base angles are congruent, the sides also must be congruent. So since we have a 45 and a 45, we know that we have two sides that are going to be congruent. Then we can actually use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the third side, which is the n square root of 2 side. Essentially, you can look at this as being a formula for any 45-45-90 uh, degree triangle. So let's try and use it. Here you have your 45, 45, 90 triangle. What I suggest you always do with these is put in the information that we know that is from the formula. What I mean by this is from the previous screen, we know that we have the 45, 45, 90, which is the n, n, n root 2 triangle. Okay, try again. Okay, so there's your triangle. So as we look at this, we have the 45 and the 45 equal angles. That means that the 9 is on the n side. This other side is also on the n side. And then this would be the n root 2 side. Therefore, we know that n has to be 9. There mean, that means anywhere else we go in the triangle, that would also have a 9. We have an n over here, so this side's a 9. And lastly, we have an n root 2, so that's 9 root 2 for that side. We now have all the information for our triangle. It's going to be 9, 9, and 9 root 2. Here's another triangle. Again, using the exact same thing we learned from the last time. Using the same idea as last time, let's label the parts of the triangle we know. This side would be the n. This side would be the n. And this side over here would be n root 2. Notice we don't know the two congruent sides. We actually know the hypotenuse, which, ours, which is our n root 2 side. That means we will put n root 2 equal to 12. We have to solve this for n. We need to divide by the square root of 2. Now we have n is equal to 12 over the square root of 2. Now, rule about fractions, we can't have square roots in the denominator, so we need to multiply this by 1. That 1 is going to look a little strange. It's actually the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. We now get 12 square roots of 2 over the square root of 4. The square root of 4 we know is 2. So now we have 12 root 2 over 2. In this case, since it's a multiplication problem along with division, the 12 and the 2 can reduce to make a 6. So our final answer is 6 root 2. Make sure you're getting these copied down. We are going to talk about these in class because I know this topic is a little bit more confusing than some of the other ones we've talked about, but we at least need to have your notes to start from. Here's a table with a bunch of information for a 45-45 triangle. We need to fill in all the different pieces. Sometimes we're given a leg, sometimes we're given a, a hypotenuse. First thing we want to do is again, on this picture here, I'm going to put on my n, n, n root 2. Again, like I've said before, that's a lot like we just have a bunch of formulas. Okay, so when A is 3, so that's this angle right here, or this side right here, when A is 3, that means B is also 3 because they're both N, and then C would be 3 root 2. When we have The B side, that's another one of our N's, so we have 4 and 4 root 2. Now, you go ahead and try and fill out the last two BC's there, and then we'll move on 
So pause the tape for a moment and then uh, restart it up again once you're ready. Okay, now we're going to go about and fill in the rest of the table. From the 4545, we know that this one is 20, this one is 5, this is 20 root 2, and this is 5 root 2. That part is somewhat easy once you get the hang of it. I know it might not be easy right away, but eventually it will be. Now the other ones here are a little bit more challenging. Let's start with the 10. The 10 is a C. The C is our hypotenuse, which is the n root 2 side. How we work these out is we put n root 2 equal to 10 and then simplify. Start this by dividing by root 2. We get n over 10 root 2, then multiply by square root of 2, square root of 2. You now have 10 root 2 over 4, which is your value of n. Lastly, reduce your fraction. 10 fourths is 5 halves, so we have 5 over 2 root 2. Now it can be written a couple of different ways, so I'm going to show you a couple of ways. That's 5 root 2 over 2, or 5 root 2 over 2. Now the nice thing about these is, since it is a 45-45, we get the same amount over here. Now would be a good time to pause it, try and solve the last two, the sides for the 20 and the 9. I did have a mistake on that last one, so let's go back and fix that real quick. The last one we had at the very end there, we, it should have been over the square root of 4, which is 2. So when you reduce 10 over 2, you get 5. So you'd have 5 root 2. Right now your table should look like that. 5 root 2, 5 root 2, 10, 10 root 2, 10 root 2, 20. And lastly, 9 root 2 over 2, 9 root 2 over 2. Again, we'll do some work with these in class so that you'll understand these a little bit better. I know they're not really easy to understand, but after we, after we do a little bit of practice in class, I think it'll be a little bit easier for you. That is the end of the 45-45-90 triangle. Uh, we'll talk about it more in class, but for now, make sure you have your notes completed, and we'll finish up the rest in class.